<laughs> was it a rough? Was it a rough one? Well, I, I guess I didn't expect it would be an hour and a half. Okay, because you so, don't usually come on Sundays, so yeah, no. Sundays are the they're the tough. I think they're my hardest class of the week that I teach, and to, people tell me that too. So you did it. <laughs> Yeah, 90 minutes is like a while. The endurance factor comes in. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? Scott's coming to El Salvador with me, Barb. Can you believe it? Wait, what? Um, so I have a retreat that I just put up on my website in El Salvador next January. And Scott is coming. Oh. My dad yeah. with his daughter. And I'm excited. That's yeah, fun. It'll be fun. You should come too, Barb. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure I'm a traveling girl. Yeah, it's okay. You have Hawaii that you go to for your beach time, I suppose. Oh yeah. Your fam. Okay. Well, I guess you guys, maybe it's just us. Let's do this. It's funny though, like last Tuesday we had a lot. Like seven or eight last Tuesday. So we're gonna keep doing this thing, figure it out after June. So did Kim tell you, I think we're gonna just take June off and then come back in July. And we might change the price since you guys you both pay us extra anyway. I think so. I think it's worth it. I think people will rise to that. I hope yeah, I hope so. Yeah. And like I'm gonna start putting it up on my social media just the day of and see if I maybe can start to get the drop in here and there, you know, so mm -hmm. we'll see. It's people could different. drop in from anywhere in the country. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I do still do my 915 classes on Tuesday morning. So people like my mom always comes to that one, but I feel like she would like this one. I should tell okay. her like 60 minutes is kind of nice, I think. Okay. Hi, Heather. Welcome. Hi, thank you. <laughs> All right. So we got chakra today. Does anybody have a special request on a chakra that they really want to like learn about or feel the energy of today? Or should I just do my thing? I think you do your thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right then it will be a surprise okay <laughs> i'll meet so, you guys good to see you all thank you for being here and then i'll spotlight myself maybe you can do that on your own computer too um and then let's start let's start lying down on our backs oh you're sweet pupper so cute okay so lie down and as you lie down Take a moment and stretch any way you want to. So really big good morning stretch might feel really nice. Maybe just hugging your knees in, giving them a little squeeze or rocking a little bit. Maybe you want to give yourself a little bit of massage, a little forehead, jaw massage, temple massage. So a little bit of movement to just kind of feel into your physical body more intentionally. And then let's come to constructive rest pose. So feet on the ground with knees bent. And feet are wider than your hips. So you can either let your knees fall in towards each other or you can leave them facing straight up, but feel as if, if they were to fall one way or the other, they would default in. Close your eyes. And invitation, only if you want to, to bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And we are going to focus on, I decided, the heart chakra today. So start to, as you lay here, just start to feel into your body, your inner space. So not just your physical body, but the energy inside of you, your energetic body. And start to feel into the rise and fall of your breath. 
And then as you are just becoming more present, becoming more aware, more attentive, start to use your imagination and visualize right inside of your inner space, your chakra system. So the length of your spine or your nervous system, same thing. So from the crown of your head all the way down to the base of your spine, from your brain all the way down to your sacrum. And start to see it with your mind's eye, with your imagination, just any way you want. So you can see it literally like your spinal column, or you can see it just more imaginatively, maybe like a laser beam shoots down your center. And then imagine that along this line, there's all these little bundles of nerves or bundles of energy, energy centers. And there is an energy center specifically right in the middle of your heart. And this little bundle of energy, this little ball of energy is green in color. So with your imagination, just start to visualize this green ball of light inside of your heart, expanding and contracting as you breathe in and out. And start to kind of just tune in to the energy that your heart chakra holds. So the energy of your heart is love. Not the love that we have to be worthy of, that we have to earn, but love that is unconditional. So what does unconditional love feel like in your body? The love that you can give and receive freely. The love that you are made of, the love that flows through you all the time. The love that surrounds you. And you can get curious about the energy, inviting in the energy of compassion. What does compassion feel like in your body? What does it feel like to be compassionate to others? Hold others in a compassionate way and hold yourself in a compassionate way. What does that feel like? What color is it? So really getting more curious about the sensations that accompany the energy that our heart holds. Maybe you notice colors, maybe you notice shapes, maybe you notice memories popping up. Maybe you don't notice much at all and that's fine too. And then you can get curious, invite in the energy of forgiveness, understanding. So what does it feel like when you forgive others, when you forgive yourself, when others forgive you? What does it feel like to be understood or to really understand another human being? Or situation. So really just tuning in and connecting with the energy of our heart. Super intentional way. Take one more big, huge inhalation. Fill up as big as you can and imagine this ball of green light expanding inside of you. Hold. Whatever you're feeling, that energy of your heart. See if you can feel it more, fill it fully. And then open mouth, sigh, let it go. Ah, and you kind of can just let the focus that that was taking to focus on that, let that go too. And start to come into your ujjayi breath. And as you connect with your ujjayi breath, cultivate your ujjayi breath, go ahead and just draw your knees in towards your belly. And take a little rock from side to side. Eventually, let your knees fall to the right side, left arm out to the left. And then take about three rounds in this twist. See if you can let your heart stay nice and open, front of your heart open. And really just focus on the space of your heart, not just the front, but the back and the sides. And as you breathe, see if you can feel it expand and contract with your breath. Bottom of your next exhalation, bring your knees through center and take a moment to either rock it out or even take a happy baby pose if it would feel good. And then when you're ready, 
Same thing, other side. So let your knees eventually fall over to the left. You can scoot your hips around if needed. Right arm out to the right, and then big, deep ujjayi breaths. Feel your heart space, front, back, and side. So really bringing in more awareness of your heart space in a somatic way. So somatic means in a body-based way. So we're not thinking about our heart. We're actually feeling the sensations there. Feeling our breath rising and falling. And then bottom of your next exhale or whenever you feel pretty much even on both sides, just come back to center. And once again, just gentle rock, or if you want one more happy baby, go for it. And then like I often do, I'll invite you to rock and roll for a moment along your spine. So if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but invitation to rock and roll forward and back a few times and really focus on the back of your heart in between your shoulder blades. You might even find a little bit of hover time there. Eventually rock up, cross your ankles, and transition on the hands and knees. So just roll over your feet, maybe kind of crawl backwards. And once you're on hands and your knees, let's take some cat cows, but take them on your fingertips today. So lift up to all 10 fingertips, strong fingers, and take about three rounds of cat cows. Inhale to arch, exhale to round. Keep pressing firmly through your fingertips. So if I try to find strong hands, I like to say tent your hands. So it's like your hands are a tent. There's space underneath your palms. All right. And then come back to neutral spine. Stay on your fingertips, but bring your hands out to frame your yoga mat. So your hands are a little bit wide, or maybe they're just right on the edges. They're wider than your shoulders. And from here, just like we do in our Spider-Man Cobra, sometimes we're going to go side to side. So exhale, twist to your right side. Let your left shoulder dip down. Inhale, come back through center. And exhale, twist to your left side. Let your right shoulder dip down. Inhale, lift your heart. Back and forth just like that. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Strong hands, strong fingers. Exhale, twist. Inhale back to center. Good job, you guys. Now come to your palms and bring your hands to your mat, downward facing dog. So spread your fingers really wide, but now you have your entire hand on the ground. So really find a strong foundation, but keep pressing through your fingertips as much as you can. Strong arms, strong shoulders, and let your neck Relax, feel your neck as an extension of your spine. So you're not gazing forward and straining. You're just letting your gaze fall somewhere behind you or even up. Ujjayi breath. One more big inhale here. And as you exhale, look to the top of your mat. Forward fold, feet meet your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in and lengthen. Exhale, release, fold. Let's rise all the way up, arms to the sky, inhale, and hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, arms reach up. Take a slow dive down as you exhale. Stick your butt out behind you all the way down and let it go. Lift halfway, breathe in. And fold, exhale all the way to emptiness. Press into your feet, lead with your heart, back to stand, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace. Roll your shoulders back and down, shoulder blades squeeze towards your spine, and if you can, reach your hands back away from your body, possibly even add a little back bend. So puff up your chest, press your hips forward, but hug in with your inner thighs. Take one more in breath. Now hinge at your hips, lead with your heart all the way down and fold. Keep your fingers interlaced here for a couple more rounds. 
Bend your knees as much as needed so your neck can relax, your head can be heavy, maybe give it a little shake or a little nod. Lift your knuckles up and lift your butt up. Soft face, soft forehead, soft jaw. One last big inhale. Work the opening in the front of your shoulders, front of your heart. Exhale, hands to low back. Release. Bring your fingertips to the ground or just let your arms kind of hang, dangle for a moment. Uh, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, plank pose. Now pause here and we're gonna move into a side plank, Vashisvasana. Roll into the baby toe edge of your right foot. So you can be stacked or staggered, or you could even come down to your right knee to modify. If your bottom knee isn't on the ground, lift your hips really high. Reach up or reach forward and lengthen through your left side. Stay here or option to turn it into a wild thing. Left tiptoe step down behind you and open through the front of your heart. Imagine you're cracking the front of your heart open. Breathe that into your belly. One more round wherever you're at. And then everybody plank or modified plank. Inhale at the top of your push-up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Sphinx pose, forearms to the ground, elbows, on, elbows under shoulders. Press down with your hands, pull back energetically with your arms. And then imagine you're trying to pull your heart through your shoulders. Draw your belly button in and up and point your tailbone down towards your heels. So feel the length in your low back. Sometimes I like to tuck my chin in towards my chest and lengthen the back of my neck. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, find your way to hands and knees, just a tabletop. All right. From hands and knees, my friends, let's take a spinal balance, right arm forward and left leg back. From your spinal balance, see if you can start to create a back bend coming from your mid and upper back. So not by just lifting your head up, but by pushing into your left fingertips and lifting your heart up. Reach your right arm back behind you and bend your left knee. This might be right where you stay, perfect. If it is available, grab hold of your foot or your ankle. And once you've got it, kick and pull gently. So hug in with your inner thighs, kick foot in the hand, pull hand back in the foot, breathe down into your belly, soften through your face, one last huge breath, open through the front of your heart, slowly release spinal balance, neutral spine, inhale, just one time, elbow to knee, curl in and hollow out, stay here and hold, take a full breath, puff up through your back body. Exhale, curl in a little bit more, get smaller, push into the ground with left fingertips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, set everything down. Sit back into kneeling position. Invitation to bring your knees together, feet apart, and maybe your butt can come down on the ground in between your feet, or maybe you use a block or a bolster or something else. If that doesn't work for you, so the option is this or kneeling or any other way you need to sit. All right, so just sitting for a moment. Nice long spine, arms to the sky, inhale here. As you exhale, let's take a stretch to the side. So right hand to right fingertips comes down to your side, lengthen your left side body. Think about two more rounds. And then this is just a little bit different. You're gonna take your left fingertips forward, kind of out to the right, and just kind of spider crawl, crossing one arm over the other. Spider crawl your way to the other side. So eventually left fingertips on the ground, right arm up and over, lengthening through your right side. Breathe into it. Good job, you guys. One more round here. 
And then spider curl again with your hand. So right hand or fingertips come down. Wrist over wrist all the way just to center. And then roll up slowly. Head comes up very last. Good job. From here, we'll transition back to hands and knees and back to downward facing dog. Walk out your dog pose, stretch through your legs now. Lengthen from fingertips all the way up to sit bones. Good job. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, look to the top of your mat, however you want to get there, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bow. And take it all the way up to stand, arms extend overhead, breathe in. Hands to heart, breathe out. All right, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands behind your back, this time as if you're about to put them into your back pockets. So either fingers face down, or if it feels better on your wrist, you can make fists. You can also wrap your fingers around your hips, thumbs face each other. All of those variations, rather than elbows out, try to point your elbows back, roll your shoulders back and down. Feet about hips with distance apart, all 10 toes face forward, hug in with your inner thighs. Now press your hands forward into your hips, but press your hips back into your hands. So hips forward, but press your hips back into your hands. Lift and puff up your heart, gaze up. Hands in the hips, hips in the hands, hugging with your inner thighs. Pop up your chest, breathe, soften your face. Feel the front of your heart like you're breaking it open, breathe bigger. Ever so slowly, lead with your heart, not your head. So see if you can slowly come back up to neutral, head comes up last, bend your knees, hands to your thighs, fingers wrap in. Take a few rounds of standing cat cows or even circle your torso all the way around, slow intentional circles. I feel good to round your spine and hang out there, maybe move your hip side to side a little bit. So whatever feels good, just kind of neutralizing. And notice the back of your heart in between your shoulder blades. Eventually all the way down into a forward fold. Good job, you guys. Halfway lift, realign. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Side plank, Bashi Sasana, left hand is your base this time. So roll onto baby toe into the left foot. Absolutely feel free, free to bring left knee down. Stack or stagger your feet. Lift your hips. Right arm might reach forward. Possibly right tiptoe step behind you and open your heart. It's a wild thing variation. Front of your heart is bursting open. Feel the energy there, breathe into it. Wherever you're at, one more deep breath. And then plank or modify. Slowly, intentionally, inhale, push the ground away. Exhale, all the way down. Back bend of your choice this time. Take a moment, anywhere you wanna go to lift and open through the front of your heart. For a moment, child's pose. Sit back and rest. <sighs> okay, my friends. Tabletop, hands and knees. From hands and knees, left arm forward, right leg back. And then start to create a back bend coming from your mid and your upper back. So not just lifting your head and looking forward, but lifting your heart really. Press down through right fingertips. Reach your left arm back, bend your right knee, heel towards your glute. You might stay right here, or if it's available, grab hold of your ankle or the top of your foot. Kick foot in the hand, pull hand back in the foot, hug in with your inner thighs to stay out of your low back. 
Make sure your breath is there. Soften your face, not straining, not forcing. One last round. Slow release. Inhale, spinal balance. Reach long, neutral legs. Exhale, elbow to knee, and we're going to hold for an extra breath. So hold here as you inhale, puff up the back of your heart. Exhale, curl in more. Press elbow into knee, knee into elbow. Inhale, reach. And let it go, tabletop. Okie dokie. This time we will sit, or excuse me, we'll not sit back, we'll come up into an extended kneeling position. So if you want extra cushion for your knees, feel free to use anything you have at home, like a blanket or something. You could also double or triple up the front of your mat like so, and then put your knees on that extra cushion. Invitation to tuck your toes, knees, hips width distance apart. And we're gonna do what we did standing a moment ago, but now we're doing it on our knees. So hands to your low back, like you're about to put them into your back pockets or whatever hand variation you'd like. Roll your shoulders back and down. Point your elbows back behind you. Hug in with your inner thighs like you're hugging a yoga block. Press your hands forward into your hips, but keep pressing your hips back into your hands. Puff up your chest. Don't let your head collapse back, but extend back. Press hands into hips, hips back into hands, hugging with inner thighs. We're not moving into camel pose, full camel pose yet. So just keep your hands where they're at. One more full round of breath. Okay, slowly lead with your heart to come up. Head comes up last. Ooh, hands and knees, tabletop. So untuck your mat if you had it all folded up. And then when you're ready, my friends, just back to your down dog. Walk it out in your dog pose, nice neutral spine. Ujjayi breath. Great big inhale, push the ground away. Exhale, look forward, however you want to get there, top of your space, forward fold. Final extension, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Let's roll up this time. So super, super slow, slow, slow roll up to stand. Arms and head hang heavy. The very, very last thing to lift is your head. Once your head stacks, take a few rolls with your shoulders. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down a few times. Eventually, shoulders roll up, back, and down, and just stand in mountain pose. So arms by your sides, palms open, root through your feet, draw up through the crown of your head. So embody a mountain, strong and grounded. Feel into your heart space, expanding and contracting. Big, slow, steady breaths. Ujjayi, bring it back with you, lost it. Next inhale, arms to the sky. Slow dive all the way down into your fold. Lift halfway as you inhale. Now listen, exhale, plant your hands or your fingertips and step just your left foot to the back of your mat. So you're in a low lunge. From your low lunge, rise up to crescent lunge. So right foot forward, left leg back, crescent lunge. Good job, strong legs, rooted through your front foot and your back toes. Hug in towards midline. All right, from here, my friends, invitation, so you can stay where you're at, or invitation to bring your right forearm across your low back. Right forearm across low back, bend your back knee to a hover, and start to create a little back bend. It doesn't have to be huge. Puff up your chest, gaze up. Breathe, back knee hovers, lift, lift, lift through your heart, one last round. It's like you're glowing green through your heart space. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, left hand down, right arm to the sky, you're in a revolve lunge, you're in a twisted lunge. Good job, twist from your center, bringing out one more deep breath. Bottom of your exhale, let it go. Walk your hands to the left long edge of your yoga mat. Parallel your feet, straighten your legs. 
Inhale, lift halfway, bring your hands to your hips. Rise all the way up. So press into your feet and rise up. All right, from here, heels go in, toes go out, bend your knees, wide-legged squat, hands to thighs. So your knees are pretty much lined up over your ankles. And try your best to press your knees back behind you rather than letting them fall inwards. Next time you inhale, like a standing cow pose, stick your butt out, lift your heart, press your knees open. Exhale, twist. It's kind of like those Spider-Man Cobra twists we do. Let your right shoulder dip. Hold for a full round of breath. Through sensor, breathe in. Other side, twist forward. Full round of breath, stay low and hold. Inhale, center a little bit faster. Stay low in your legs. Exhale, twist to the back. Inhale, center to the front. Exhale. Inhale, center. Good job, you guys. Straighten your legs. Parallel your feet, arms to the sky. Whenever you're ready, take it all the way down into your wide leg and fold. And anywhere you want to hang out for about four or five breaths in your wide-legged straddle position. Notice whatever there is to notice. Feel whatever there is to feel. Tune in to your heart, front, back, sides. All right, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. Walk your hands to the top of your space. Rotate your toes forward, you're in low lunge. From low lunge, my friends, listen. Three-legged down dog, take your right leg all the way back and up. Stay and hold, or next exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, back up, three-legged. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, or in for your armpit, super high. Inhale, three-legged. Now exhale, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly. Pigeon pose, right shin comes forward, gently set your body down. So give yourself a moment. Really set yourself up intentionally. And then eventually start your bow forward. As you bow, soften through the back of your heart, breath by breath. If you don't know what that means, then get curious. Maybe it means something different for everybody. So feel into it. What does it mean for you? What does it mean for your body? What does it feel like to soften through the back of your heart? Maybe it's not even a physical softening. It's an energetic softening. Maybe it's simply an awareness. Be here for about four or five more rounds. Exhale out your mouth anytime. Last couple of breaths. And slowly begin to lift your upper body. We're going to come into a seat. So just ease your way over onto your outer right butt cheek. And then swing your left leg all the way around. So your left foot comes to the outside of your right thigh. 
You can either adjust so that your heel is a little closer to your butt and you can sit both sit bones on the ground or you can extend your right leg, which is what I'm doing. But totally up to you. Hug your knee in, sit up tall. Take your left arm up, sit up taller. Get taller, reach, inhale. Exhale, twist, left hand comes down behind you and maybe you gaze back over your left shoulder. You might keep your right hand where it's at or you might latch your elbow or any other variation, half or full bind that fits in your practice. Try to stay nice and tall. Breathe all the way to empty with your exhales. Good, everyone. Take one last breath. Work your twist as you exhale to emptiness. And then unwind your upper body and just bring, so if your right knee is bent, extend your right leg now. Bring the sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh. And we're gonna start with a side body stretch. So let your hips open towards the long edge of your mat. Press your foot into your leg, leg into your foot, get really tall. Left arm up and right hand can just rest somewhere on your leg or in front of your leg, inhale. Exhale, reach for the front of your mat or reach for your right foot, but keep your heart open. If you're like me, you can't go very far. That's totally fine. Maybe you're all the way up here. That's totally fine. So left side elongates. Breathe into your left waistline. See if you can stretch it even longer. Imagine your heart is trying to look up more. So keep rotating your heart up towards the sky. Press foot into leg, leg into foot. Last couple breaths. Next, inhale, come back up. Take your arms up, kind of adjust so that now your hips are square, or I should say your right hip is square forward. And just take your dive down whenever you're ready. If you need to bring your arms down and kind of adjust using your hands, feel free. So if there's any other way you like to get into this, but fold over your right leg eventually. Imagine you're trying to reach your heart past your right knee. And as you fold, let the back of your heart take up more space every time you inhale. And as you exhale, dive a little bit deeper. The back of your heart expands as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Keep a flex through your toes, through your right toes. Keep pressing foot into leg, leg into foot. Take one more huge deep breath and see if you can fold just a little bit more. Roll up, super, super, super slow roll. Head comes up last. Take both legs out in front of you. Give them a little shaky shake. Take a couple windshield wipers. Mm. Okay, so this is just an invitation. You don't have to do this, but um, you can. And if you don't want to do this, then just come to standing at the top of your mat, however you want to get there. So the invitation, grab hold of the backside of your thighs, rock and roll a couple times. See if you can rock all the way up to your feet without using your hands to stand up, and it's fine if you need to. Feet plant, stand all the way up. Five empty toes. <laughs> all right. Arms to the sky. Feel into your most neutral pelvis and spine with your arms reaching up. Take one more inhale. Exhale, stick your butt out and slowly dive down into your fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, left foot stays where it's at, right foot steps all the way back, and a crescent lunge. So take a moment, be in your lunge position. Strong legs. Palms through your belly, navel to spine, pop up through your chest. Stay where you're at, or here is your invitation. Left forearm across, low back, a little bit of support, bend your back knee, hover it above the ground. Pop up your chest and curl open. So very different than just leaning back. It's a curling open. Strong legs. Breathe into the front of your heart like it's 
bursting open one more round. Bottom of your exhale, bring your right hand to the ground. Left arm to the sky, you're in a revolved lunge. So twisted lunge, be here for about three breaths. Strong legs, twist from your core, from your center. Bring it out. Good job, you guys. Bottom of your next exhalation, let it go. Walk your hands right long edge of your yoga mat. And this time we're not gonna come into that uh, wide-legged squat. We're just gonna hang out in our wide-legged fold. Or if you wanna explore anywhere, please feel free about five breaths. Good job, last couple. Halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. Crawl your hands forward, rotate toes forward, low lunge. From low lunge, three-legged down dog, left leg high. Feel free to stay here and hold, otherwise one more inhale in your three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, or aim higher for your armpit. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to nose, everybody curl in, hollow out, and then set left shin down, pigeon pose, top of your mat. So left shin comes down to the top. Take a moment, find the structure. And then settle in, breath by breath. Back of your heart softens. Stay active through your left toes to protect your knee. Visualize that green ball of light in your heart space. Every inhale, it expands. Back of your heart expands, puffs up, breaks open. Exhale, let it go. Take about three more deep breaths. Good job, friends. Last exhalation, invitation to sigh it out your mouth. Ah, and then start to lift your upper body. We'll come nice and easy into a seat. So let your hips open. So we're onto your outer left glute and swing your right leg around. Right foot to the outside of your left thigh and kind of adjust as needed so that you're on your sit bones or left leg can extend forward, which is what feels best for me. So that's what I'm doing. Hug your right knee in, sit up really, really tall. Take your right arm up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to your right. Right hand comes down behind you. Try to stay nice and tall through your spine. Open through the front of your heart. Breathe down into your belly. Maybe gaze over your right shoulder. And bottom of your next exhale. So take it all the way to emptiness and slowly unwind your upper body. If you don't have your left leg extended, extend your left leg now and bring the sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh. Let your hips open. And I'm just going to turn around. You don't need to do this, but I'm just going to turn around because I'm facing you. 
So sole of your right foot, left inner thigh, and then reach your right arm up. Inhale, exhale, side body stretch up and over. But lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through your right side. Heart wants to look up. So have that intention rather than heart looking down and closing off. Open it up. Keep flexion through left toes. Keep pressing foot into leg, leg into foot. Keep breathing. Last couple deep breaths. Inhale all the way up, both arms up and kind of adjust so that you're squaring your hips. If it's helpful, you can bring your hands down and just kind of scoot around however you need to. As you're ready, work into your fold. So left butt cheek reaches back as your heart reaches forward and then bow. Try to reach your heart past your left knee. Breathe in between your shoulder blades, back of your heart space. Exhale, dive a little bit deeper. Find a little more space inside. About three more breaths. Super slowly roll up. Roll, 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 roll. Head is the very last thing to lift. Take both legs forward, shakey, shake them out. We'll take windshield wipers on our back. So when you're ready, just lower all the way down to your back. Feet mat width distance apart, knees bent side to side. See out your arms, cactus your arms or any other variation that feels right in your body. Slowly back and forth, slowly and intentionally. Might even feel really nice to hold on one side. Let's all do that. Take your knees to the right and hold for about three breaths. If you want, you can bring outer edge of right foot to the outside of left knee to take it a little bit further, deeper. Really try to work the length in your left side from left shoulder down to left knee. So your top knee is reaching forward and down. And then take it to the other side, slowly, knees to the left. If you want, outer edge of left foot, outside of right knee. Lengthen your right side. Inhale back to center. Invitation for one more back bend. So I'm gonna, I am going to take bridge personally. If you have a full back bend in your practice, upward facing bow, you're welcome to take that. I'm kind of um, taking care of my low back. So I'm not gonna take a full back bend today, but you're welcome to. So if you're coming with me in bridge, arms by your sides, feet, Hips with distance apart now, all 10 toes face forward. You want your ankles right underneath your knees, not in front of your knees. So if your hands are, uh, if your arms are by your sides, you should be able to graze the backs of your heels with your middle fingers. On your exhale, pull your belly button down and scoop your tailbone up. And inhale, peel your spine up off your yoga mat. One vertebra at a time. Once you're at the top of your bridge, if you want, you can work your shoulders underneath, maybe interlace fingers or take some different arm variation. About five breaths total in your heart opener. If you're with me in bridge, press in the heels and the inner edges of your feet, especially hug in with your inner thighs. Press down through the back of your head. Breathe down into your belly. You should be able to see your belly expanding and contracting with each breath. Open through the front of your heart. Feel the expansion in your heart with each breath. After five to seven rounds, just on your own with awareness, ease your way back down to a neutral spine. So please don't rush it. Once you're back in neutral spine, 
Windshield wipers one more time. So take your feet out wide and let your knees fall back and forth side to side. And after a few rounds of these windshield wipers, happy baby pose. Give yourself a moment and happy baby. This is a really good pose to kind of neutralize the spine. So especially after all that heart opening, all that back bending we did, Take this time to neutralize your spine. Maybe you want to give your knees one last squeeze in. Maybe you want to take one more full body stretch. And then eventually just start your own journey into your final relaxation. And if you do happen to have a bolster at your house and you want to take goddess pose, with your spine just laying on top of your bolster. Very gentle heart opener. Feel free. And it might even feel really nice on your own to just give yourself one great big falling out breath whenever you're ready. And as you come into your final relaxation, just like we did at the very beginning, start to visualize your inner space. Start to visualize your nervous system, your spinal column, your chakra system, crown of your head all the way down. You see that bright ball of green light, green stardust, green energy right in the center of your heart. As you visualize this light, Get curious about what it feels like to live from your heart rather than your head. I like to sometimes remind myself when I am having trouble making a decision or figuring out if something is what I really want or if it's just what others want me to want or what. I think I should want. So I really like to think about things in this way. So the voice of your ego, the voice of your head, the voice of your critical mind, it's always looking for ways to get love, to earn love, to receive love from the outside. So am I doing this to get love? Am I making this decision because I want love? Or is it your soul? Your soul already knows that you are love and already knows that you are worthy. You do not need to do anything to prove it. You are already accepted and valid. The voice of your soul doesn't do anything to get love from outside. It already knows it is love. So feel into that place inside of you that knows you are already enough. You are already whole. You don't need to do anything outside to prove it, to earn it. Just let yourself kind of dwell in that space, get curious, the cave of your heart. This place that is unconditional love inside of you. It's like a well of unconditional love. It's always accessible. 
it just gets really buried, really covered in life. <laughs> we use this time of slowness, of stillness, to reconnect, if only for a moment, the love that you are made of. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Ah. Let's do that one more time. Big, huge inhale and visualize that green ball of light in the space of your heart expanding, lighting up. Hold all that energy you feel. And then let it go. Ah, just let it all dissipate. Maybe you see little pieces of stardust disappearing inside of you. As you're ready, start to move your body, come back into your physicality, and eventually roll onto your side fetal position. And as you rest on your side, just one last moment, think of your own affirmation for your heart chakra. So some sort of affirmation that reminds you that you are loved, that you are accepted as you are, that you are worthy. So it can be super simple. Something that resonates and just kind of let it soak in, keep it with you, come back to it when you need to remember. And then use your arms to guide yourself up into your seat. Bring your hands to your heart. Either prayer hands or one palm stacked on top of the other. Close your eyes, bow your head, and acknowledge this place, your heart space. This place that helps you live from love rather than fear. That connects you to something that's bigger and vaster and more spacious than just your own physical being. Something that's beyond explanation. Something that transcends time and space. Thank you guys for letting me guide you through this practice today. Namaste. Okay, my friends. I'll see you next Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Katie. You're welcome. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.